Welcome back to The K9 Show, and on today's episode, we're discussing everything that you need to know about the Shih Tzu. So if you're new around here, don't forget to click subscribe, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Shih Tzus are energetic, lively little dogs that thrive on human companionship, and for decades, they've been among the most popular family pets and companions throughout the world, and in the UK for good reason. They're bright, alert, smart, and loyal to their owners. Sharing a home with a Shih Tzu is a real pleasure. Known for their boldness and longevity, these little dogs are also highly adaptable by nature, being just as happy living in an apartment as they are in a house. The Shih Tzu originates from Tibet, where they were highly prized for thousands of years by Tibetan monks. They were kept in monasteries because they were known to be loyal and trustworthy companions as well as extremely good little watchdogs. From time to time, these dogs called Tibetan lion dogs were sent as gifts to Chinese emperors where they were kept in the imperial palace. Both males and females grow 20 to 28 centimetres, weighing just 4 to 7.25 kilos. And the Shih Tzu is a sturdy little dog that boasts a silky, luxuriously long coat. They are known to have a bit of an arrogant look about them, which often makes these dogs even more endearing. The Shih Tzu has a long, dense outer coat and a moderate undercoat that should ne never be woolly in texture. Some dogs have a slight wave in their coats, which is permitted under the KC breed standard. It is worth noting that the length of the Shih Tzu's coat should never be that long that it interferes with the movement, nor should affect a dog's vision either, which is why it's common practice to see Shih Tzus having a top knot. They come in just about any colour and colour combination, with party coloured Shih Tzus having a white blaze on their foreheads and white tips to their tails. Shih Tzus are high maintenance when it comes to keeping their coats looking sleek and their skin in good condition. Their coats are long, luxurious and silky, and if not regularly trimmed, they have hair which is not like other dogs and it grows right down to the ground. With this said, daily grooming sessions are a must to keep the Shih Tzu's coat tangle free, which is why it's essential for puppies to be groomed from a young age so they get used to all the tools and having their ears, paws and other parts of their body touched and play with. It's important for the experience to be good right from the start so a dog looks forward to the grooming session rather than being afraid of being brushed. The Shih Tzu is known to be a lively, confident, outgoing little dog and a character that boasts a real extrovert side to their natures. There is nothing they like more than to be part of a family and just love being involved in everything that goes on in a household, which is why they have consistently been a popular choice as family pets and companion dogs. They thrive on human contact and are never happier than when they are around the people they love. They are a great choice for first time owners because they are intelligent and always willing and eager to please. There is a downside to that is that they do not do well when they are left on their own for any long periods of time. Shih Tzus are intelligent but they do boast a bit of an independent side to their characters which means training and socialisation must start as early as possible. They can also be a little stubborn at times and often give owners the impression that it is beneath them to do certain things asked of them. With this in mind a lot of patience and consistency are needed when training and educating a Shih Tzu to be obedient. Although they do tend to have a mind of their own and will often choose to ignore a command because they think they know better. So in conclusion, the positives are that they're totally people orientated, they're great first time dogs for novice owners and they get on well with children of all ages, they're social by nature and they make wonderful companions because they are so kind natured. Negatives can include their high maintenance on the grooming front, they hate being left on their own and suffer from sex separation anxiety. They can bark excessively when left alone and can be a little bit stubborn and willful at times and they're known to suffer from quite a few hereditary health issues. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up button. And if you're new around here, don't forget to click subscribe. My question of the day is, are the grooming demands of a dog like the Shih Tzu enough to put you off having one or are you happy being their daily personal hairdresser? Leave your answer in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to chatting with you all about that later. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for another episode of The Canine Show.